What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the JT Sports Podcast. I'm your host, JT. So I want to talk about something random that I just came across. Now, it's been a long time since I last watched wrestling. I used to be a huge wrestling fan. My favorite wrestlers were Randy Orton, CM Punk, and Rey Mysterio. But once CM Punk left the WWE in 2014, I stopped watching. But recently, I came across a wrestling clip on X, and Patrick Mahomes made a guest appearance on Monday Night Raw recently, and this shit was so wild, man. So first of all, Logan Paul meets up with Patrick Mahomes ringside, and Patrick Mahomes gives this fool three his Super Bowl rings to use as some damn brass knuckles to knock a dude out. And then, a few minutes later, some big, massive dude called Braun Strowman, I believe his name is. This dude is so big and massive. Like, this dude's built like he should be playing defensive tackle for the damn Houston Texans. And he gets into the ring, and Logan Paul, of course, he gets his ass up on out of there because he wants no problems with this dude. And listen, I wouldn't want any problems with this dude neither. So he, he, he gets ringside and he's intimidating Logan Paul saying how he's going to squish his, squish his hair like a pimple or something like that. And then he starts eyeballing Patrick Mahomes. Now, I would have thought that Patrick Mahomes would have done like any normal person like me and you and got up on out of there. But instead, Patrick Mahomes going to take it upon himself to be macho man. And, and, and intimidate Braun Strowman talking about some, yeah, you want some? And I'm just looking at Patrick Mahomes like, bro, are you crazy? You really want to get into it with this dude? You get one clothesline from Braun Strowman, that's at least 10 years off your career, fam. At least 10 years. That's the minimum. This is the last dude I'll be trying to get into it with. This dude is built like a defensive tackle, man, and he moves really well. Like, how is this guy not in the NFL? Somebody has to give this dude an NFL tryout. The Carolina Panthers really need some help on the interior of their D-line. Well, at least some depth. They could definitely use Braun Strowman on that thing. That dude is massive. Like, I know the WWE is fake, but they do have some guys there that are some really impressive athletes. And I'm glad that Jay Uso came in. He de-escalated that situation before that thing turned ugly, boy, because... I don't think Patrick Mahomes was ready for those problems, man. He need to stick to the NFL because WWE is a whole different ball game. I remember when I used to have somebody that used to go to the library and purchase or rent out like the WWE pay-per-view um, DVDs, right? And before the start of every single match or pay-per-view, they used to play some little warning saying how like, these are trained professionals. Do not attempt these moves at home. You could get seriously injured. You know, and I was just looking at Patrick Mahomes. I'm just like, bro, like, you must have not listened to those warnings on those DVDs back then, bro, because you are not the trained professional to be trying to get into with Braun Strowman. That dude will crush you like Bane did Batman in The Dark Knight Rises. I mean, oh my goodness. This dude is built like a damn specimen. Where the hell do they find some of these wrestlers at? And why are they not playing in the NFL? The way some of these dudes are built, they legit are really impressive. And who cares if wrestling is fake? Like, nobody can deny how athletic some of these dudes are. Bobby Lashley? Whew. Like, but this was just, you know, something I came across on X that was just really funny to me. Because it, it was just random. And the last time I used to watch wrestling, that's when wrestling was at its peak from 2008 to 2012 because it was always a bunch of random shit. Like, you had The Rock making a guest appearance to host a WrestleMania before he came back to fight John Cena. You had one year when Floyd Mayweather got into it with the big show. And it was just really funny just to see Patrick Mahomes, you just make an appearance on Monday Night Raw. And the WWE has gotten a little bit lit. You know, they got my boy CM Punk back, so I might have to tune in because I was a huge CM Punk fan. I'm not as big as a Rey Mysterio fan as I used to be, but I was a hell of a CM Punk fan. I love CM Punk, and I was really surprised to see him back. I was like, bro, like, 
D didn't he say like the company would be better when Vince McMahon passed away or something like that? Like, and he dropped the pipe bomb. I remember that. That's when wrestling was at its peak, boy. The summer CM Punk. Oh my goodness. But if you guys seen the Patrick Mahomes Monday Night Raw segment, what was your thoughts on it? Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Remember that we are not just a YouTube channel. We are a podcast. You can find every episode, including this one, in audio format on all podcasting platforms. Apple, Google, Spotify, Amazon. Give us a five-star review. If you enjoy, follow us on our social media platforms. You can find us on Instagram at JTSports underscore and on X at JTSports underscore underscore. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys shortly with another episode of the JT Sports Podcast.